was uh, finally resolved today. He'll be laid to rest at a site decreed by his family after the Northern Territory Supreme Court refused to interfere in their funeral plans. His former de facto wife had challenged the plans, saying the artist left other burial instructions in his will. 300 kilometers northwest of Alice Springs, a traditional mourning ceremony is held for Clifford Possum Japuljari. This is Mount Allen, and it's where the artist's family wants him buried, according to Aboriginal custom. We, the family members that are here, the Possum family, right here. we strongly want all men to be buried out here. But legal action had prevented Clifford Possum's burial here. For a month after his death, his body lay in the Alice Springs morgue. The artist had left a will stating he wished to be buried on neighbouring Napperby Station, where he and his grandfather were born. The bitter dispute was back in court today because of this woman, Melbourne art dealer Melanca Sullivan, who lived with Clifford Possum for five years. She claims she's the only one respecting his wishes and denies that she's interfering in Aboriginal business. Well, it's not black cultural business, not if, they're not if they're not telling the truth. They're not telling the truth. It's as simple as that. As an Australian citizen, he had the right to make a will and to choose, you know, whatever. And he wants to, what he left in his will. I mean, and to have the family attack it is just not right. But today, the Northern Territory Supreme Court lifted an injunction preventing Clifford Possum's burial at Mount Allen. Justice John Gallup ruled that it should proceed and that the court should not interfere with the family's funeral plans. Lawyers for the public trustee and the Japuljari family had argued the court had no role in Blackfellas business. While the verdict appears to give recognition to 40,000 years of Aboriginal custom, it also raises questions about the legal rights of individuals. New Zealand police have... Economics editor Mark Westfield, one of the nation's...